Oh no, it doesn't glow. I feel so cheated. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here in Centralia at Cat and Waltz Junk and Treasures. It's a nice little antique store, and we're gonna head on inside and see what we can find. Oh my, they always have some really nice glass, $24. That's, see, that's, I don't think that's a bad price at all. That's really, that's tempting. Oh, I like that one back there, McCoy for 28. Now that is a stunner. That one I might have to do actually. Let me get this out of the way. Because I really like the, uh, the color of this and the detail on it. That's a really pretty event. Ugh, that's a nice one. It's a good size too. The color, it's pink. Oh my gosh, look at all the glass. They've got a lot of glass. Oh, this little six dot. Okay, well, I am gonna be going. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff in this case, hopefully. Let's see what we can do. Oh, they got it locked. We need to get the key. So we're gonna get, I'm gonna get this little peach here. I love that for $6. This is a Fenton bird and the Fenton bird's 24. I'll get the apple back there, it's eight. And then we've got the shoes, 18 and 18. That's a pretty vase back there, 52, that blue. It looks like stretch glass with the diamond optic design on it. A piece of Murano. That's really pretty too. I like that blue back there. It's probably Fenton, but it's this light blue ruffled vase. The light is kind of hard. It's, it's hitting it a different way. How much is this Murano? I don't see it. Oh, there it is 38. Okay, that's about where it's at. And then we've got all this other, that's pretty with the ruffled edge back there. Probably also Fenton for 38. And then paperweights, eggs, lots of glass. That's a pretty Fenton uh, covered dish, that one. Oh, and the crystal ball with the ladies on it. $300, that's so cool. Okay, well, there's a custard vase back there for 24. A nice luster or um, ir an iridescent green 24 basket. And then lots of clear glass. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna get the two apples for sure. And uh, we'll go from there, but they redid this room. They got all the, gla oh, the carnival glass. So they have lots of marigold down here. And then those two vases. Okay, so I'm gonna get that one right there. It's the, well, it looks like purple. It looks like a like an amethyst purple carnival for 18 right there. There's another one across the way, another carnival glass. I'll have to look at that one too. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that $24 Van Briggle, probably. This one here looks like a Van Briggle lotus flower for 24. That's a good price. I might consider that one. Oh, I hear a cat coming in. Yeah, look at this in. cool McCoy vase I'm gonna get. Put that on live sale. Yeah, there's a lot that I'm seeing, and they redid this room. All right, yeah, so we'll start a pile and this will be the first item. Okay, so, so far, this is the items that I have and I ended up getting this one because I, she gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that one to the pile and my little carnival glass. And we still gotta keep going because there's like another room. This isn't mine. What are you doing there? That's somebody else's. Um, but yeah, got a nice little pile going. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Did you find anything? No. No, no. I always like how they have all their glass displayed in the window. Going to model cars Ooh. and stuff, they have a lot of those back here. I just noticed this really nice finger vase for 18. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. It's a good, a good size. Getting it out is the problem. Let's see. It's right up on the, it's right in there. You better get it after all that. That's nice, 18, I really enjoy that. Uh, the color is fun. 
that's not a normal color. I mean, it, it is. It's green, but it's not. It's 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 good. We like it. So I'm, I'm happy with that one. And actually, in here, in this case, they have all these um, toothpick holders. There's one of those right there for 18 in the persimmon. So. I just like I said, if people are into the old model cars and such things, toys, yeah. and we have a lot of them here. That's yeah. not something I collect, really, but... I haven't been haggling enough in here. I just, I, I tend to not, which is a bad habit. Because it, you, you, it's, good to, it's good to get things cheaper, but it's difficult whenever you like someone. You know, you, but you're supposed to separate business, but so I, I, I don't know. That's my problem, not yours. What is this little thing? Is it for stamps or something? It's $12. Ideal Junior. Well, isn't that fun? What are these? Oh, they're like little bicycle plates. Oh, those are fun. So good. And then in here, we have little elephants, some Japan wear that's like plastic wear. Sort of like lacquerware, but it's not. Little biscuit for 12. That's pretty, the little biscuit jar. This is nice for six. It has a little ba hand painted basket on it. That is fun. Okay. You know what? There's an entire room of, look at all the postcards. There's an entire room of Pyrex and stuff, and that's always a joy to go through. That's in a moment. But yes. all these. Postcard. This is a cool setup, actually, the way they did this. But I'm um, going through all these is a whole job. It needs to be over there on some other table. This I don't. Remember. Yeah, they move things around. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh, I didn't go through any of this yet. There's this nice enamelware, some milk jugs. Okay, we've got a cow. Some. <laughs> the cows are hanging by their tail. I like that. That's funny. And all of the umbrellas. Might be a little hard to film out there because it's, it's like a party. Right it's now. a whole party out there. Everybody with the rainy weather came in. I, I wondered if rainy I weather. Okay, these are mostly toys and stuff in here, and I don't really do a lot with toys, admittedly. Although I've sold this pig before, and I've had this plastic pig before. What else have I had? Not a lot. I've had this dog before, Fisher Price dog, but not much. Look at these wood animals. There's this wood horse. That's really cool. It has RH written on it though, it engraved in for sixty dollars. And then the, and then the this this animal for it says Bert, eighteen dollars. Bert. Bert. All right. Here's the area that I was just talking about. They have all of the Corning wear and Pyrex. Their Pyrex supply has really went down a lot over the years. They have some of the um, like town and country and then there's a primary set. It's so like some of the ones you see a lot of and they have a lot of fridge dishes in the primary, primary set up there. And then the coffee cans and the enamel wear. Corningware and the uh, corn flower pattern. This is the spice of life pattern. Then they've got the spring daisy pattern or the crazy daisy has different names. This one is fire king in the maple leaf for 16. Little onion jar for 22. I always like this color. These like this kind of bluish greenish color. I'm not really going to be able to buy anything in here, I don't think. I don't think so. Now, this is new. So, anytime, uh, basically, anytime you see something like this jadeite with words written on it, it's a reproduction. Um, this one is actually made by uh, Hazel Atlas, according to the back uh, bottom stamp. A giant A and an H. I mean, a giant H and an A underneath it. Some of them have, like, even, um, like, old things on them but there were no pictures like that like this this is bunny bread no that's this is not old this is in the crisscross pattern so they probably use the same mold 
where it looks like this, where it crisses and crosses. That's what they call that Hazel Atlas crisscross. And uh, I don't know if Hazel Atlas still owns the mold and they put it out or not, but there's that. They have the Shawnee pigs over here and the salt and pepper and some grill, I mean some range, some range shakers, some milk glass, McKee and the, I don't think that's the ship's pattern, but it might, well it might be a McKee. I don't know, just as made in USA. No lids. Oh yeah. Here we are. Ooh, it's kind of warm. It's yeah, raining? Well, it, it is, yeah, you can hear Oh, that. the rain is falling. It's humid in here, it's a good word. I do like all the metal stuff that's hanging from the ceiling. But as you can see, they have a lot of stuff in here, uh, back storage. <laughs> they have a lot of stuff, yes. A lot. All this says Christmas priced. Yeah, that's all storage, right? This is a, a great area to have, considering the size of it and everything. Some wagon wheels. Railroad, light. They have bicycles, Bam. too. Wouldn't it be cool to get bicycles? We could, we could zip around town. I know. But I... Maybe you need to get one and like fix it up, like make it a project. I just, thing is, I don't know anything about bicycles. Does that say Schwinn on it? I don't know, how to, I don't yep. know how to fix anything up. Schwinn is always good, man. That could be a fix up project, yeah. All I know about bicycles is if they have a crossbar, it's for a man, and if they swoop down, it's for women. Some, I don't know, I, yeah, I I, that's what I true. heard that's at some point. There. Might have something to do with like dresses or something. I don't know. Let's see what this is. Kind of bent up. That's kind of like your other ones. Yeah, but, but I don't know what. Six dollars? Maybe. I gotta see what it is. That's not much at all. Uh. Milk jug. That's a new thing. Oh, that's a neat plant stand over there with the three tiers on it. That's really cool. How much is something like that? Not that I need it, but just for giggles. Let's take a look. $68. See, I don't think that's bad. It's a whole thing. Oh yeah, these are all those new things too. Those like metal works. Did you ever figure it out? No. I don't know if it's where we'll be right down. They have all this cast iron on the wall. Something I've never gotten into just because <laughs> I ship things. And that would be stupid for me to ship that. Okay, and then they have this other room. I have actually found like little small things out here before too, because they have them setting on like the That's tables. Big globes. That is a big globe. Hmm, lots of lamps and tables. I have to remember this, if I'm ever in the market for furniture, there's no shortage here. Like, they had to resort to the ceiling. They ran out of floor space. There's a couple Aladdin lamps in the chartreuse and ivory over there. I'm wondering what, those, what kind of light this comes uh, Those are light shields. I don't know what... I bet those are kind of cool. either Cat or Walt lights. would know. I've always been a big fan I, of them. Do you think they're from, like, out, like, outdoors? I don't know. Like they just seem, they seem huge. Oh, they're plastic. So maybe they're outdoor like giant. Um, why are there so many? I don't know. Where's the bases? I was thinking they're like giant um, lights that you put outside for somewhere that needs light. You know what? I decided I am going to go ahead and get this. We came back inside, by the way. Um, there's just, I mean, there's furniture out there, but we're not ever really in the market for it. I love this. The green on there is so pretty and it's opalescent. And I'd regret it if I didn't. There is a flower frog which glows. Uh, $24 on that, more than I can do right now. That's pretty. That looks like McCoy as well with the ivy leaves on it for 18. I think I've had that before, but maybe in green? Unless I'm thinking of something different. Oh, that's really cool. It's custard glass, this covered dish, and it's really scrolly. That is very ornate. I should take a look at that because yeah, I don't think I've seen this before. It's in, it's Imperial glass. IG, let's see what it is, how much? Cause I haven't seen this before. 
and it's different. Come on out. Okay. $28. Let's see if it glows. Most custard glass does. And uh, you just use a little black light like I have on my keys. You like my Kmart? You like my Kmart keychain? Got to keep it retro. Good old Kmart. Let's see here. Oh no, it doesn't glow. I feel so cheated. It does not glow. I will not get it. If it glued, if it glued, if it glowed, I would have got it. What does that mean if it doesn't glow? It means there's no uranium in it. Okay, value's lower? Yeah, because people collect uranium glass. But um, this clearly says that it glows. I should have cut my keys out. Let's look at it. You can see exactly what I mean. You can pick these up on Amazon pretty cheaply. The uh, black lights, see, it's it's super glowy. And that one glows. And then the uh, Jean, I want to say Jeanette, I'm not sure if it is. That glows, or no, maybe it's Fire King in the Philby pattern. But it, it, I think it's Fire King Philby. I don't remember for certain, but it glows a little bit too. So yeah, take your black light, that glows, this block optic for 38. Yeah. That's really pretty. That's a nice, maybe, what is it, like a cigar box or something? Glow. Cigar? No, it doesn't, but. All right, let us see. Oh yeah, there's all the stoneware. I never look over here because, well, I'm not shipping stoneware. But they have all of this, so UHL pottery, and bottles. That's a pretty one. That's a really pretty one for $48. It's upside down, do you see it? Looks like almost like a turtle. Oh, and the big ones, 68 and 58. That's really cool. Nice. And then they have some baskets. And I think with that, I did, I looked at about everything I could. I think I did. Oh, there's stuff in the bathroom usually. Let's check it real quick. Let's see. We gotta do some last minute bathroom shopping. Here we go. So she has like the small items up here. If you want to like get little figurines, they're a dollar each. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's so good. And then over here, we got little doodads. Uh-huh. Okay, very nice. Hope it was good for you as it was for me in the bathroom. And then we've got this cubby over here with the bottles. This looks like Jim Shore. It is Jim Shore for 18, little chihuahua. Chihuahua, wow, wow, wow. Piggy bank, aluminum. I've had these before. The aluminum coasters with the pheasants on them. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't think I want any more stuff. I don't think I do. I've been known to be wrong. No, I'm done. I decided. All right, so it's still raining, but we did pretty well in there. I uh, ended up getting the last thing, that vase, and I'm glad I did. I think I would have regretted it because it's just so pretty, the green on there. Um, so once again, we did really well here at Cat and Waltz. They always have a lot of great glassware and stuff. So with that, we'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.